In this video, let's take a look at tabs in Angular Material. Tabs basically allow you to organize content into separate views where only one view can be visible at a given time. Now first up, let's import the tabs module. So in material.module.ts, we're going to import mat tabs module and add it to the material array. Now we can create tabs in the HTML. The component is mat tab group. And within the opening and closing tags, each tab is represented using the mat tab component. Each tab will have a label and the content. Let's add the labels Angular, React, and View. and the content as angular content, react content, and view content. Now, if you save the files and take a look at the browser, you should see three tabs, one each for angular, react, and view. If you want to know which tab is active at any point of time, you can use the selected index property. So back in the HTML, add a template reference variable on mat tab group. And then we can use interpolation to view the property value. Tabref dot selected index. If you take a look at the browser, you can see that initially it displays zero because index starts from zero. Click on react it changes to one and view changes to two. Now, if you want to perform some operation when you're changing tabs, you can listen to the selected tab change event. So back in the HTML, bind to selected tab change and as an event handler, let's call log change and pass in the selected index. In the component class, I'm going to simply log the index to the console. Now, if we go back to the browser, open the console and change the index, you can see the selected index being logged. So when the tab changes, you can perform any operation you want to using the selected tab change event. So that is a quick look at tabs in Angular Material.